Hi everyone, William here, welcome to my channel. And this is three things that can raise your social credit score. One, lose all creativity, authenticity, and ability to think for yourself. This is imperative for the system to work, you know, like any system built on fake things like credit. Um, well, you can't have any too many ideas that uh, might bring it down. Two, make sure you have plenty of social media that advertises happiness, wealth, happiness and success, wealth equals success, uh, as well as waterfalls, mountains, and lots of smiling. And three, you have to have at least one viral, semi-viral post with at least one cliche and an attack on the opposite side. Doesn't matter if the sides are the same, whichever one's in power, you know, just go along with the story. And uh, those are my uh, three tips. One minute, good job. Let's talk about the real thing I wanna talk about. And uh, that's power. It's one of my favorite topics, but I, I, I uh, don't like it. Um, I'm completely against power. I think it's wrong no matter who or what does it. That doesn't mean that there aren't people that have it, that use it correctly, but odds are they're not or they won't. I think it's ultimately soul corrupting. Now, the power that we currently live under is, you know, systematic at universities, religions, not so much anymore, but still exist. Um, corporations, media, social and otherwise. Uh, these are the main avenues. Now they all work together. You know, they might seem at odds sometimes, but um, they all have the same ideas. and. The way they do things are very similar. They just kind of implant things. You know, like the modern thing is advertising. Thanks to Edward Bernays, I think he's the nephew of uh, Sigmund Freud, but he really uh, revolutionized advertising um, to be more like brainwashing. But it's not hard to brainwash people that um, are looking to be told what to do and seeking an authority to get their views on reality. Now, this is the problem. Um, people have to stop. Stop. And I know it's hard if you're busy trying to make money all the time, scrambling, um, stressed out, but to take chances or to go against, I mean, it does take courage to go against what uh, the crowd, but we have to start thinking for ourselves if we really want to change the world. Now, if we want to continue the cycles of a power structure being the problem, pretending a group of people usually is the problem and then letting it go to crap. Well, people hurt themselves, you know, kill each other, um, vote for things that are not good for anyone, and uh, on and on and on. And then without ever realizing, hmm, these ideas were planted through the education system, through conformity, conformity is a big one, and then blossoming out into society. Now, when I was in, uh, I grew up in Atlanta, which is great. And you know, although my school didn't have a lot of black folks, I've lived in the city and I love black folks. And now uh, they are in my home when I was, you know, a child and they're not stupid, right? But uh, uh, systems work like this. When I was growing up in the eighties, Black folks were touted all over the news in association with crack crime. And um, planting that into people's head probably had it play out also in that form. And racist or otherwise, that's just what people were told, okay? Now we're told it's male and white usually as if white people are all racist and we're causing the problems that black humans faced here in this country in America. Well, clearly that's not it. The system did that to them, right? Now, people didn't help the individuals. I'm sure they're a racist, but it's not a whole group of people. And it's not in people's interest to do that. People are more uh, likely to help, love, care, um, learn about than just hate. And it's weird that people keep buying into that narrative, okay? Now, this is not pointing fingers or blame. But it's easy because I know, I suffered a lot in my life, that when something comes along that says it's going to help you or is the solution to your problems, 
um, you're so willing or so needing to get out of your situation, you often take it. So I see this happening now with um, whatever one side of politics appealing to a whole group of people, particularly black folks, saying it's time for equality. They're like, heck yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, and we're doing it because it's the right thing. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. First of all, they're not taking responsibility for all the things or accountability for all the things that they did and what they created with putting drugs into the neighborhoods, um, lying about, you know, perception. Um, at the same time, every human being is not taking accountability for buying into it and continuing to buy into a lot of it now. We have to stop listening to this noise and stop repeating the cycle. I'm not saying this because I'm a white dude and I lost my privileges or whatever. I've never took them because I have principles. It, it's never crossed my mind to take money or anything else, uh, a job, um, to go along with mistreating people. Now, a lot of people do because there's a lot of cowards in the world. And in a society that's built on, hey, you have money and a job and a smile and pictures of waterfalls, uh, you're successful. You know, there's a lot of encouragement to do that. But what I want to tell people today is think about this. Could it be conformity that does it, right? So you have a system. They know they can only have a certain amount of people being successful because, you know, that's all you can do. You got to have the lower man, the lower class doing all the crap and, you know, being broke and uh, suffering because, yeah, they definitely use energy in some levels too. But I'll keep this, this video simple. Um, and what they do is divide it up by race in class, in a way, but the people that are participating don't know that they're privileged, and they're not necessarily privileged, but what they are is willing to go along with the system for the number of slots that there are, right? And when you create perceived threats all over the place that'll take it, you're more likely to do what you're told, not question things, and, you know, hey, I didn't know that, or I got kids and I got a sport, and I understand that part, I understand that. You know, I understand why you might do something questionable at your job when you have three kids and car payments and a mortgage and all that. But uh, I wouldn't do that. But I also don't have kids and I don't have a good job. But that's okay. I live that way. Um, and I, I just would like black folks to think about, are you sure, are you so sure that it's about equality or is it about conformity? Now, some people are gonna pay the price, white males or whatever. If you really wanna be vindictive and blame a whole issue created, I mean, it's natural in some people to divide themselves by their race and things, but I don't think most people are into that. Um, I don't think the issue was racist uh, in the larger society. I think it's a power control and now they wanna flip the tables. Okay, whatever, you wanna do that. You're not gonna get any gratification from that. And everyone wants all people um, to have success and things, but is it about what they say? Because nothing else turns out. Uh, the way that I judge power, or, or especially politics, is I look at, oh, what are they saying? First of all, I don't really believe them. And then I say, what's playing out in the world? That's how you get to the motive. Right? Oh, they're teaching, you know, goodness, and it's always goodness or an appeal to people's light side. And then it doesn't turn out that way. And you're like, well, wait. Um, I just like people to ask that, you know? Um, it's, it's enough, is what I'm saying. Anything that I can do to help people think for themselves, I, I really want to do. Now, some people, kind of live in the lower desires and the selfish state. And this is encouraged, by the way. Nothing can change as long as people, you know, just wanna have sex and buy things, unfortunately. Um, you have to find uh, more meaning value, whether it be through spirituality or sometimes it's an ego shadowing experience. But people are taught to be safe, not to seek those things out and don't seem to see or blame the true manipulator, um, the wizard behind the curtain, let's say. And uh, let's, let's start looking for that wizard and not looking at it in the other people because the majority of people are decent and want to do good and um, are just easily manipulated. But now that we know, 
that all those institutions I, I, I uh, mentioned earlier are full of lies, how can you go back and trust them on things that you think sound good? How can you trust them at all? Well, who do you trust? Trust yourself. How do you trust yourself? Question everything you do and why you're doing it. Hopefully, we can all get somewhere. All right, that's enough for today. See you soon.